Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about creating a single store managed service database in the cloud. A managed service database is great. It's almost like a magic database in the cloud. We don't have to worry about installing or configuring any machines. We just get a connection string and we're ready to go. Our first step is to come in here and sign up for single store managed service. Once we've filled out this form and click the link in our email, we'll land here on the customer portal. And that's a great place to start creating clusters. Here in the portal, we can adjust billing details. We can add new team members to be able to access this portal. We can look at free tier licenses. In this case, we've clicked on cluster overview. Let's create a managed service cluster. When you create a managed service cluster, we'll give it a name and we'll give it a cluster development type, development, staging, or production. In this case, I've got a development database. Next. Now we can choose our free trial credits. In this case, <laughs> I've used up my free trial credit, so I'll use an on-demand database. You can choose the cloud provider of choice, Azure, Google Cloud, or AWS, to get your database closest to your application to avoid any ingest fees. From there, you can pick the region where you'd like your database to be and the cluster size. We have quite a few clusters from really big to really small. In this case, I'm gonna choose S00 really small to make sure that my price is very cheap. Next up, we'll give it an admin password. I'm going to generate a strong password. That looks good. And now we can create firewall rules. By default, our current IP is here in this list. That looks great. Next, we'll ask for billing information. In this case, I've already set up billing information and let's create cluster. It will take a minute for this to spin up. So let's fast forward the video a little bit. Our database in the cloud is ready to go. Let's dig in. We can take a look at through all of the settings associated with our cluster, all of the settings that we provisioned as we started up our cluster. We could edit the cluster type, the expiration, the size. We could change the password. Here's a connection details to our application. Let's do that. I've got my password in the clipboard. Let's come in here and paste the password into place. We see here in our application that our username is admin. Admin. And here's our endpoint. Copy that. And we'll set that in place as well. Now my application is ready to go and I can connect in all the ways that my application normally does. Alternatively, here's the MySQL command that I can just copy and run from any terminal. That's perfect. From here, I can also take a look at other things. Let's modify the firewall rules perhaps to add additional clients. We can look at security details to upload a certificate so that we might connect securely to Kafka or other systems. And we can take a look at the maintenance window and understand when our database will be maintained or upgraded. Back here in the overview, let's take a look at SQL Editor and start to make some queries against our database. Now here we can select our database. We're on this cluster and right now we don't have any databases. Let's come out to our application and go grab some code. So now I've got some code here. I'll select one and run it. I'll use that database. I can push control enter to run the next command. So I'll come here to my create table command, control enter. And I'm not starting a Docker container. I'm starting a single store managed service. I was able to create a new cluster inside single store managed service. And I was able to create a database inside that cluster. I don't need to worry about anything. I just update the connection details in my application and my app is ready to go. You can get started with single store managed service really easily. Come here, start up a trial, and you can use single store managed service right away. Thanks for watching.